Okay, I'm the first one again. Hi. Hi. How are you? Fine, and you? I'm okay. You are Eduardo? Yes. Okay, I'm not teacher Iris today. No, no Iris today. No Iris today. She had to do something, but I'm substituting her class today. Only okay. for today. Let me connect my handset. All right. Okay. All right. So I said that teacher Edis is going to be with you tomorrow. Okay. Because she had okay. to do something. Okay. Okay. My name is Jessica. Jessica, I, I, I saw you in the videos. Ah, yeah, it's me. <laughs> yeah, I know. All right, very good. So how are you, Eduardo? Everything okay? Everything okay. The rain is very nice for me, but yeah. the, okay. the consequences... Are terrible, eh? It's terrible, yeah. Yeah, all right, yeah. I know. But it's very nice because we can a sweater... I know, uh, finally, eh? Yeah, and, and, co and drink coffee. Right, yeah. All day, it's, it's very nice. Yeah, it's nice, it's nice. It's just the consequences are not so nice. Yeah, it's just bad yeah. news. Yeah, especially sometimes also for like children or old, like seniors already, they get sick a yes. lot, so. Yeah, and a lot of floods and everything in El Salvador. The rivers, the uh, rivers, I know. The boarding. Yeah, they're flooding. Yeah. They're flooding. Yeah. Right. Okay. Very good. So, how many um, classmates do you have usually in class? How many people? Yeah. How many people in class? Cl classmate. Uh, yesterday, only only three. Only three. That's what Edis told yeah. me. Yes. But right. the 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 past uh, module. The plus the past course, yeah. The past course is variable. Uh, sometimes more more five or okay. uh, around eight. Oh, all right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay. Okay. So, um, do you remember what you studied yesterday with Teacher Edis, Eduardo? Do you remember what you studied? Yeah, I remember. It's uh, about the two. Parts verbs. Yeah, two, two part verbs. verbs. Yeah, two part verbs. Yes. Mm -hmm. And an article. Okay. The particle. The particle. The particle. I let me. All right. Uh, yeah, only, only that. Only that. All right. Okay. So the idea for today's class is to review a little bit about part verbs because she will continue with a new topic tomorrow okay, okay. okay. so i'm just going to review it with you uh so i have a press a powerpoint presentation just okay. to go over some phrasal verbs and then some exercises in okay. case nobody else shows up we're going to do them together all right okay all right very good so let's see i have right this for you oh there's someone else very ah, jose. Good. all right very good hi jose Hello? No, not yet. All right. They're going to get scared because they, did, they won't see teacher Edis. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hi, Jose. Hi. How are, How are you? you? Fine. You are in the, in the right uh, class. Yeah, you're in the right class, Jose, okay? Teacher Edis is not able to come to teach you today. But tomorrow okay. she will be with you, okay? Thanks. All right. It's only, only me for one day. Okay. All right. And my name is Jessica, okay? Okay. Nice to meet you, Jessica. Nice to meet you, too. All right. So I was just telling Eduardo that we're going to review what you guys studied yesterday. Were you in class yesterday, Jose? Yes. Okay. Yes, okay. I, very good. I do. You, you were. All right. Very good. So yesterday, as Eduardo was telling me, uh, you guys were studying about two word uh, verbs or phrasal verbs, okay? So the idea for today's class is not introducing any new topic, but rather mm -hmm. just reviewing what you studied with teacher Edis yesterday, okay? Okay. Tomorrow when she comes back, she's going to tell you, uh, or she's going to teach you a new topic, okay? So let's see, Eduardo, can you read what it says on the screen, please? 
most common complaints parents have from their kids. All right, very oh, good. Yes, this, yesterday we, we you saw- You saw this one. Yeah, I remember. All right, okay, but, so uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, did you pass, do the exercise? Did you, uh -huh. it's this one. Did you see this one? Uh, or was it it's different? It's more or less. It's more it's or different. less the same. Okay, yeah. very good. It's similar, yeah. but. But different. Different, yeah. All right. It's like teacher Iris and I were very good friends. So we have like very many things alike, okay? okay. <laughs> all right, but the idea is to practice, all right? So let's see. Um, Jose, can you read the first one, please? The first? Yeah. Okay, turn off that light. Turn off that turn light. Off light. Very good. Yes. Eduardo, what about the second one? Uh, clean up the garden. Very good. Um, Jose, the, the next? Hang up the towels. Very good. And the last one, Eduardo? Turn down the volume. Turn down the volume. All right. So I'm pretty sure that Iris told you yesterday that phrasal verbs are like a different family from the normal verbs, okay? You have the normal verbs, all right? But the phrasal verbs, they are made up of a verb and a particle or something else. And they put, you join them together and the meaning is different, okay? It's not the same if I say turn as the verb as if I say turn off or if I say turn down, okay? Mm -hmm. It's not using the same verb turn, but because we use a different particle, in this case, off or down, the meaning is different, all right? So that okay. is, that's what's very tricky with phrasal verbs because um, as if you have many different particles added to the verb, it means different, okay? So that's what makes it a little bit like a challenge, all right? Because maybe you know the verb turn, but if you have turn off, turn down, turn away, it's different, okay? So all of them have different meanings. It depends on the context, okay? okay. All right, okay. very good. Uh, if you notice in this first example, we have turn off. We have the, the base form is turn, but because we have off, the meaning is different. And if you notice the other one, it says turn down. Again, we're using turn, but the particle is different, so the meaning is different, okay? Very mm -hmm. good, let's see. One. Uh, right. Uh, let's see. Eduardo, can you read the first one, please? Uh, get off from the sofa. Get off from the sofa. All right. And the other one, Jose. Put on your shoes. Put on your shoes. All right. Very good. Next one, Eduardo. Uh, put away your books. Put away your books. Very good. And the last one, Jose. Take out the garbage. Take out the garbage. All right. So in this case, again, we have put and put but you say put on and you say put away. Do you understand these phrasal verbs? Do you understand the meaning? Yeah. Yeah, Jose, no problem? No problem. Okay, very good, okay. All right, so then we have this one. Uh, Jose, the first one. Throw, throw away the old TV. Throw away the old TV, all right? So if I tell you, Jose, throw away that old TV, where are you gonna put it? Sorry? If I tell you, throw away the old TV, where are you going to put the old TV? Where are you going to throw it away to? No, I don't understand. Okay. If I tell you, for example, I said, um, Jose, do me a favor. Throw away the old television. Where? Uh, where are you going to put it? Is, uh, throw, throw away is... Um, uh, Según la imagen, tíralo o, o tíralo fuera. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But if I say throw away, I'm telling you put it in the garbage because it's not working anymore. Mm -hmm. Throw it away. If I say throw it away, it's like it's not working, it's useless. So you have to put it in the garbage because I'm not going to use it anymore. Mm -hmm. All right. So mm -hmm. more than putting it away is like putting it on the garbage because it doesn't work anymore. Okay. All right, get it? Yeah. Okay, very good. Continue with the other one, um, Eduardo. Uh, turn on the light. Okay, turn on the light. All right, very good. The other one, Jose. Turn off the computer. Very good. And the last one, Eduardo. Put out your cigarette. Put out your cigarette. All right. Now, if you notice this uh, phrasal verb right here, turn off the computer, 
What if I tell you shut down the computer? Is it the same meaning? Shut down or turn off? Uh, uh -huh. Shut down is not here in the image. I'm just telling you. It, shut it, it, down. It is, is it similar, Jose? It's similar. Yes, it is similar. All right. So what I want you to what I want to show you is that sometimes there are there are different phrasal verbs that mean the same. All right. Mm -hmm. I can tell you turn off the computer, or I can tell I can tell you shut down the computer, and it's the same. You just close yeah. it. You like turn it off. All right. So it means to, the to same. That, to that is only using in when when it's a computer. Shut down TV no exists. You don't, yeah, you don't really say shut down the TV. You I kind of say turn off the TV. When you talk about when you talk about devices, you shut them off, like computer in this case. Mm -hmm. But shut so, down is is in the menu. Uh, it's an option in the menu to to shut to shut down to re, re, uh, reset. To restart or, to reset. Uh huh. Also, to, right? To suspend. Sure. Okay. Similar to that. All right. Uh, you can also say the store got shut down. The store, the place is not working anymore. Or that university mm -hmm. got shut down. All right. It's canceled. It's not like working anymore. So sometimes, it's, depending on the context, that's the meaning. Yes, Eduardo. But, but it's different to cost the university yeah. or shut down the university is forever. Is, is the difference? It shut, um, if I said it shut down, it's usually forever because the meaning forever, is very okay. strong. Uh huh. Okay. okay. The computer shut down. All right. It's not, I mean, the computer, the, the university shut down, the school shut mm -hmm. down. It's not working anymore. All right. Okay. So usually means canceled completely. All right. So like it Sagrado, depends. Like, like Sagrado Corazon, the, the, the next year, the, the school, uh, this school is uh, it's going to be shut be down. Shut down. Probably, yeah. yes, all right. Yeah, I didn't know that a Spencer school got shut down like a year ago or two years ago. Did you know mm -hmm. uh, Colegio Spencer, no? Mm, yes, Ever heard uh, of it? It's by, uh, by 25 Avenida, by mm. Universidad Pedagogica. It got shut down and I didn't know, all right. <laughs> all right, very good. So it means canceled, all right, very good. Remember, guys, that when we talk about phrasal verbs, and I'm sure teacher Edis told you this, they also have different tenses. They can be in the simple present, in the simple past, in future, all right? I can say, for example, Eduardo throws away the old TV, all right? Or I can say, Jose turned on the light, simple past. They are the same, they're treated the same as normal verbs because they have tenses. All right, it's just different meaning because they are phrasal verbs. You, you, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah? All right, okay. Let's go on here. Uh, continue, Jose, please. Letting the dog. Uh-huh. The other one, Eduardo? Let out the dog. Right, and the last one. Can you see it, Jose? Put out the cat. Put out the cat. Okay, very good. So in this case, we're using let in and let out, different meanings, all right? The meaning is different. All right, can you read this, Jose, for me? Okay, phrasal verbs I mainly use in spoken English and informal text. Consists of a verb plus a particle preposition and verb. The particle can change the meaning of, of the of the phrasal verb. All right, that's what it means. That's what it says at the end. All right, very yes. good. So remember that phrasal verbs they are very very commonly used when we speak. All right. So when we're speaking, like right now, we can use a lot of phrasal verbs. That is why sometimes it's difficult to understand movies or songs. All right, because they use a lot of phrasal verbs, okay? And yeah. they are informal. When you write a formal email or a formal report, usually you don't use phrasal verbs because they are formal. Um, phrasal verbs, they tend to be informal, like we're with friends, with people that we know, with relatives, okay? I'm sending you, Eduardo or Jose, an email and say, hey, I don't know. What's up? All right. What's up? 
So I use a lot of phrasal verbs, all right? Rather than very, very formal type of writing, okay? So they are very formal, informal, and then they can be, they use, um, they use uh, particles at the end of them, okay? And they usually, they are usually prepositions, up, down, all right, away, on, off, all right? So that's how we make phrasal verbs. What is interesting, yes? Teacher, is similar to los modismos? Yeah, it is, mm -hmm. it for is. us in Spanish, yes. Okay, modismo, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. they are like, okay. like for example, we say something in Spanish that someone that is learning a Spanish will not know what it means. All right, because uh, when they are learning the language, they use the language in a very proper manner. Okay. All right, and rather okay. than like using modismos or phrasal verbs, happens to us when we learn English. All right, we need to learn them too. I'm sorry, we need to learn the um, the phrasal verbs because they have different meanings. All right, so for example, if there are let's say a number, if there are 100 verbs there are 300 phrasal verbs because one phrasal verb one verb can have different particles and they have different meanings mm -hmm. all right so they're very there there are a lot and the meaning changes a lot okay okay all right then we have we're, i i want you to take a look at this i don't know did you see this with teacher evis yesterday yeah no <laughs> okay Yes, no? In, 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 no. Eduardo, did you? Yeah, I remember. Yeah? Something. Yeah, <laughs> in, the, in the video is record. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but See. not this. This, no, uh, no. this complete, complete, uh -huh. uh, no, it's, it's a, 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 a unas cuantas frases. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, okay. Uh -huh. But it's not the same one, right? It's not the same PPT. No, not the same one. Okay, no, no, okay, that no. was... <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, that's good. Okay, so here, guys, what is the difference between number one? Let's see sentence number one. It says, pick up the books from the floor. And sentence number two, it says, pick them up from the floor. What is the difference? The and, pronouns. And, yes. it's middle. and the first use nouns and yeah. the second use pronouns. Okay. So which one is the, the noun on number one, Eduardo? Uh, pick up the books from the, from the floor. What is the noun of that sentence? Uh, the books. The books, very good. So you replace the books with the pronoun? Uh, pick up uh, pick them. Them, up very good, the very good. Them. Okay, so if you notice in sentence number one, you have pick up the books from the floor, all right? You have it, you have the phrasal verb together, and then you say, pick them up from the floor. You don't use an, a noun, you use a pronoun. So you split the phrasal verb, okay? Mm -hmm. And you place the pronoun in between, all right? Hi, Wendy. We have Wendy connected. Hi, Min. Hi, I'm not teacher Edis today. Teacher Edis couldn't make it on like, for the class, but tomorrow she will be with you, okay? You're in the correct class. <laughs> it's only me for one okay. day, okay? Very good, my name is Jessica Wendy, okay? okay. Only today, tomorrow okay. teacher Edis nice is back you. with you. Nice to meet you too. All right, so uh, let's, let's take a look at sentence number two. Jose, can you read sentences? Sorry, I, I don't hear. Okay, that's okay. Can you read sentence num like sentence number two from both columns? Ah, okay. Number two. Yes. Turn off this two. Uh huh. Turn, turn it off. Turn it off. Very good. All right. Uh, next one, Eduardo. Can you read number three? And hang up your jacket and uh -huh. hang it up. Perfect. Very good. Wendy, can you continue reading number four? Take out the trash and take it out. Perfect, very good. Continue, Jose. Get off the cat from the sofa. Mm -hmm. Get it off from the sofa. Very good, all right. Next one, Eduardo. Turn down the, ra the radio and yes. turn it down. Perfect, very good. Wendy? 
turn on the computer and turn it on. Perfect. Very good, Jose. Throw away the dirty books. Uh -huh. Throw them away. Very good. Next one, Eduardo. Clean up the mess yeah. and clean, clean it up. Very good. Wendy, the, the following one. Throw away the tools. Yeah. Throw them away. All right. And the last one that you can see, Jose. Clean up the soft surface the, the sur it should say surface uh-huh clean it up clean it up all right so if you notice in this case we're using the pronouns them and we're using the pronoun it because some of them are singular and some of them are plural all right now you can use you can use phrasal verbs in both ways and they are okay you can use them with the with a noun or you can use them with a pronoun now it's very difficult for example, right now I am in my house and right now you're in your office. If I tell you, Eduardo, can you turn it down? What am I talking about? You cannot see what I'm, I'm telling you to turn it down, all right? So I need to be specific and say, can you turn the music down, for example? Mm. Or can you turn the radio like off, all right? I need to be specific because you cannot really guess what I'm talking to you about. If I just say, turn it on, what? The TV, the computer, the cell phone, the machine, the fax machine, what am I talking about? But if you mm -hmm. are with me, for example, in this room, all right, and I say, hey, Eduardo, can you turn it out? Can you turn it on? And I point at that TV, then you understand that I'm talking about the TV. So what I'm trying to tell you here is that we use pronouns when we can see the same object that we're referring to, all right? Okay. Because right now, if I just say, Wendy, can you clean it up? What? The table, the room, the car, uh, the box. What do you want me to clean up? What is it? I don't know, all right? So I need to say, Wendy, can you clean the box up? Please? Or can you clean up the box? All right, so I have to use, I have to make reference of the noun. Do you mm -hmm. understand that? Eduardo, do you have any questions? Do you understand what I'm telling you? No, no, I, I understand. Okay, very good. Wendy, what about you? Any questions, Wendy or Jose? All right, I guess they're not around. Okay. <laughs> Okay, that's okay. Let's see. Um, I have an exercise for you, but I don't know if Wendy and Jose are around for you guys to make it together. Uh, the esto stove is a, a, a stufa. It's a that's right. Yeah, that's the stove. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the kitchen, Eduardo, is the place. All right. The, kitchen the, is a the place. tool that you use to cook is the stove. Stove, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Any questions about this uh, other vocabulary? I don't know if you understand everything. No, only that. Only that. All right. Yeah, but but uh, surface I can say uh, in plural surfaces. Yeah, that's the main surface. Surface. I don't know. I think it's singular all the time. You cannot really say surface. clean up the surfaces. Kind of weird. Okay. Surface. Usually mm -hmm, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. it's like one. All right. Jose, are you back? Yes, I'm back. Okay, very good. Wendy, are you there? Okay. Yes, I'm here. Okay, very good. Thank you, Wendy. Okay, so I'm gonna um I'm ha I have this exercise. Oh, we have Claudia also. Hi, Claudia. Hello, Claudia. Tell Claudia she's not in the wrong class. <laughs> Hear me. All right, okay, and uh, let's see. So I have this for you. Do you guys, can you take a picture or can you uh, make a screenshot of this exercise? Can you guys? Sorry. Uh, hi, Claudia. Hi, sorry I'm late because I have a problem with the connection. Oh, okay, that's okay. It's because of the rain probably, Claudia, okay? Okay, okay. Very good, welcome. My name is Jessica, okay, Claudia, but I'm only your teacher for one day. Tomorrow, teacher Edith okay. comes back. Okay, very good. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, can you please, guys, take a picture of this? Yes. Okay. 
let me know when you're ready. And what I want you to do is I want you, for example, if Eduardo and Claudia are together in a breakout room, what I want you to do is to read the sentence together and decide which phrasal verb is the best, okay? Number two. I, I mean, take a picture of everything and you, I'm going to send you to your breakout rooms. Are you ready with the picture? Yeah. Eduardo, ready with the picture? I'm ready. Okay, very good. Jose, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Uh, Wendy and Claudia, are you ready? Yes. Okay, okay. so I'm going to stop sharing. And I'm going to send you right now to your breakout rooms so you can work together, read the sentence together, and try to come up with the phrasal verb that is the, the one that is correct, okay? Okay. Okay, there you go. I already sent the invitation. You can start clicking away so you start working together. And maybe it's because of the rain, Wendy. Do you have the invitation? Hello. Hi, Jose and Wendy, you're together. Oh, good, 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 good. Okay. So what I want you to do is to read the sentence together and decide which phrasal verb, okay? Try to understand the phrasal verb and then complete the sentences, okay? You have it. Hi, Eduardo. Hi, Claudia. Hi. Hi. Did you, the did chart. You, yes. The chart. The last chart. We don't have to read. You didn't take a picture. No. Okay, I'm gonna show it to you right now. This ah. one, oh, Eduardo. Yeah. Let Let me take a picture. Yeah, of course. Yes, go ahead. Okay. Okay, I got it. All right, Claudia, what about you? Do you have it, Claudia? Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, so what I want you to do, Eduardo and Claudia, is to read together the sentences and decide which phrasal verb, okay? Okay. Okay. All right. If you have questions, let me know. Um, you have to
Hi, Jose. Hi, Wendy. Hi. No encontramos el material, teacher. ¿Perdone? El material que íbamos a, con el que íbamos ah, a trabajar. Ahorita. No, ahorita. no okay. estaba en el, en el WhatsApp. No. Ah. ¿Ahorita? Yes. If you want, um, Jose, take a picture right now. Take a picture so you can work with it with um, Wendy. Okay. Yeah. Okay, very good. And Wendy, are you here? You can stay in this room right now if you want, Jose. Hola. But I can take the Hello. picture. Uh, you want to take a picture again? I mean, you want me to show it again? There you go, Wendy. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. Complete the shape, We have to go to the breakout room. No, no, I stay here because of the rain, you might get kicked out. So stay here right now, Wendy. And stay with okay. Jose. Jose's here anyway, so you can work together from here. Okay. Are you gonna, you can, do you want, I mean, can you share your screen so you can work it together? Um, I have the screenshot. Okay. You have to. So off. you can share it, Wendy, and you can like discuss with Jose the sentences. Yes, I have. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay. I think the first one is take off. Take off, no. Let's get the put off. Turn or put up. Why don't you guys read the sentence together and decide which one is the phrasal verb? So it's easier. You have to your cigarette when you enter the non-smoking area. You turn down. You have to turn down your cigarette. Hi, Eduardo. Hi, Claudia. How are you doing? The burglar, the burglar uh, I think, is uh, like a thief. Yes, it is. Very good, Claudia. The burglar... Uh, take off her flap. I don't understand that. You don't understand the sentence? Uh, no. no. Burglar, what is the meaning? Burglar is a thief. Thief? A thief. You yes. understand thief? No. A thief is a ladron. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Burglar. Ah, it's a thief. He flat. Uh, 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 flat is an apartment. Ah, uh, the apartment. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the burger is uh, putting or, or, or letting. Mm. Getting. The burger, I uh -huh, get in his flat. Oh, uh huh. Uh, this is, this is, maybe. Uh, the other is uh, our parents had an mm -hmm. argument last night, but they, yeah, they, mm -hmm. they find out. Mm -hmm. 
Timeout. Se encuentra afuera ahora. Timeout. What number are you working on right now? Number nine. Okay. Our parents had an argument last night, but they. Yeah, I think. Uh, I don't know if it's a sentence. Find out. You don't understand the meaning of the sentence, Claudia? No, the meaning is, is like a. I don't know the 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 the, the, the not the meaning is the um I think you understand oh. the sentence, it's just the phrasal verb is the one difficult to understand, I think. Yeah, the, the, the excuse me, the the many the of these uh the two parts mm -hmm. verbs we don't see we don't saw yesterday and yeah. we try to understand right yeah right that's that's the idea i mean the idea is because of your the, the english level that you have now is to uh -huh. make it a little challenging all right because yeah. maybe you didn't see it exactly one but you kind of you, you the idea is for you to try to figure out what it uh -huh. means all right with the context of the sentence but don't worry, I'm, we're gonna like five more minutes or so, and then we're gonna go back and we're gonna check them together. And I will tell you the meaning, all right? Okay, thank you. All right, very good. Keep on, keep on working, I know you can do it. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna okay. go check on the other group. Okay, go ahead. No, I don't know. Porque mi off me suena más apagar, take off. Mm -hmm. Well, sigamos con la. The music is too loud. <laughs> Put out me da el traductor hospedarse. Put up. Put up. Put up. Es que put es poner. O sea, puede ser tomarle diferentes significados. Put up. What number are you working on? Excuse me? Which number are you working on right now? I uh, we are going for the five okay. sentence, okay. but we have uh, problems with the first one. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> okay, all right, that's okay. I mean, the idea, Wendy and Jose, is for you to like work on this. I know that you don't know all the meaning of the phrasal verbs, but that's the challenge. Yes, yeah, to try to get the the, the right meaning. And in five minutes, we're gonna go back to the main group and we're going to check the, the meanings together, okay? Okay. All right? Okay. Very good. We really don't understand. Yeah, I know. Some of them are very difficult and sometimes <laughs> it depends on the context of the sentence also. But try to advance, try to do more. Um, the music is too loud. Brock info, what is the meaning? The meaning is... Which number are you on right now? 
Uh, we we try to stay the ten. All right. But I, we don't don't logic to the. <laughs> okay. Uh, we, uh, I think. Uh, yes. We, uh, we let in, or no, we get in to the yard at six o'clock to avoid the traffic. Uh huh. Which one is better for you, get in or let in? Uh, get in. Uh -huh. Yeah, we get in New York, yes. Entramos. Entramos. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Evitar el tráfico. Right. Uh -huh. Si usted dice let in, es como que le está permitiendo a New York que entre a algún lado y New York no ah, se va okay. a mover. Okay. In my heart. Uh -huh. Yeah, all in your heart, yes. All okay. right, but get in is because you are actually moving to uh, the place. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Just get in. Okay. Thank you. My mother opened uh, the, the door, door and let in, let in the old cat. Uh -huh. oh. that, that's different. Okay. Because you're letting the cat in. Okay. Uh -huh. Please be quiet. Please be quiet. Broke info is, is a, what is the meaning? Broke info. Uh, Broke info. Broke info. Broke into. Broke into. Info. Hold on, I into. Break into, yeah. Ah, excuse me. Broke into. It's, yeah, I, I, okay. I read that. All right, that's okay. When you say broke into, that is that you forced your way in. For example, uh -huh. you forgot, I mean, someone comes into your house that did not have a key, all right, and that you did not invite. And then okay. you say, ah, she broke into my house, all right, with no permission. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like a... Uh... Uh, es interrumpir, como entrar sin ser invitado. Exactamente. Entonces, en ese caso sería number eight. The burglar got into. En el buen español, nosotros decimos, el ladrón se metió a la casa. Uh -huh. All right. So, that would be the broke into is similar to se metió a la casa. Se yeah. metió a robar. It's, okay. It's okay. Thank you. Uh -huh. So, that's what it means, really. Like, Cuando usted me dice, someone broke into my house, it's like, ¿en serio? ¿Y qué pasó? All right, like, I'm concerned because it wasn't allowed. It was something that was not expected. Yeah. And usually it's something bad. It's not something good. It's okay. All right, yes? Sí. Okay, did you finish 11 and 12? At number 12, you finished? Uh, number 12. I think that it's please be quiet, turn down. No. Please be quiet. Uh huh. Turn down. Mm, are you sure? Look at the exclamation mark at the end, Claudia. So that's a very strong statement. Maybe, for example, I'm making a lot of noise, and then you say, Jessica, please be quiet, but I don't listen to you, and I keep on making a lot of noise, and you say, shut up. Oh, shut up. All right, yeah. But oh, shut up is not shut to. Up. Shut up. Uh, I think that shut up is not too, too polite. I... No, it's not polite. It's very it's, rude. It's similar to <laughs> close your mouth. <laughs> it's similar to yes. I don't want to hear you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the nice one, okay, Claudia, is be quiet. All right. Say, Claudia, please be quiet. But if you continue shut making up. a lot of noise, I say, shut up. All right. <laughs> but that's not very nice. Okay. That is not very okay. nice, but yeah, sometimes we use it. <laughs> okay. All right, we very finish. good. Okay, so um, I'm going to go see Jose and, and Wendy. Okay. Check for one more minute if you have any, like, check if you have any doubts or anything, and then I'm going to go back. We're going to go back to the group, okay? Okay.
Hi, Jose. Hi, Jose. Hi, hi. Jose, can you hear me? Jose, can you hear me? Hi, Eduardo. Hi, Jose. And Claudia, where did she go? Eduardo, can you hear me? Yes. What My happened with Claudia? I don't know. I guess the, I guess it's the rain, the internet connection. Oh, there yeah. she is. Hi, Claudia. <laughs> Sometimes we have problems when it rains so much. Claudia, uh, is the microphone mute? Yeah. Claudita, your mic is off. Your mic, yeah, thank you. And then Jose, I don't know. Jose, are you there? Hello. Hi, Jose. Hi. Did you finish with Wendy? No. Okay. No, se, se cortó la conexión. Ah, uh, okay. I know. She's having problems right now with the connection, she told me. All right, which number did you finish, Jose, with Wendy? Jose, which number did you finish with Wendy? In the six. Oh, okay, okay. One to six. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Okay, so I'm gonna share with you again the, uh, the exercise so we can discuss it together, okay? Let's see, uh, number one, Eduardo, can you read what you have? Tell, read the sentence and tell me what you have. Uh, you have two who uh, put out, I, I think put your cigarette out. Excellent. The non -smoking area. Very good, you have to put your cigarette out when you enter the non-smoking area. All right, very good, nice. What about, num do you have the same Jose and Claudia? The firemen are trying, the firemen are trying to... Eh, hold on, hold on, Jose, out. hold on, Claudita. Jose tenía la misma respuesta para la uno. Yes, okay, yes. Okay, very good, thank Without. you. All right, very good, nice. Thank you, Claudia. Continue, please, Claudia. Okay. The firemen are trying to find out the cause of the fire. Excellent. The firemen are trying to find out the cause of the fire. So what does find out mean? What does it mean? The, what does find out mean? Like a very one. Uh, find out is a very one. Investigate. Investigate. That's right. To investigate, to find out. Very good. Three, Jose, can you read, can you do number three? See, the plane is going to fly away in 20 minutes. Okay, or do you have any anything different, Eduardo and Claudia? No, oh, it's okay. Fly away, it's okay. okay. Another possibility is the plane is going to take off in 20 minutes. Mm, take, take off. Take off is despegar. Okay. All right, you can, you can use both. Ahora, take off, can, it, it depends on the meaning of the, like it depends on the context of the sentence that you can use it for take off or you can use it for a different meaning, okay? Let's see, number four, what do you have for that one, Eduardo? Uh, my brother's use. Uses? Uses my things and never, um, it's, <laughs> Uh, uh, shoot up, I think. Mm, oh. You think? 
ma sun desa escolis de mi surab o te leri mana purap you think purap <laughs> yeah um, okay that's okay jose what do you have for that one put them up Ah, okay. No, it's put them uh put them back. Put them back is it is return. Es como nunca las regresa. Ah. Ajá. Put Mi them hermano back. usa todas mis cosas y nunca las regresa. I put them put back. Them back. Put Ajá. them back. Oh. That's right. Very good. All right, what about number five? The music is too loud. Turn, turn it down. Very good. Turn it down, please. Very nice. Number six, Claudia. What do you have for number six, Claudia? The police The police put put back. No. Mm, that could that? be a possibility. Put back your hands. Put back your hands like uh -huh. this, put up, right? Put up your hands. Uh -huh. And I don't move. And don't move up. A, a muscle. A muscle. Very good. Number seven. Very good. Jose, what do you have for number seven? Number seven, no. Okay. Eduardo, you have seven? It's a, uh, um, maybe, uh, let me, Put up, put up your coat. Mm. And make yourself comfortable? And make your, okay. uh, yourself comfortable. Cuando usted se quita la ropa, o se quita una, un suéter or something, you can say, take ah. off. Yo, yo creí que era ah. ponérselo. No es quitárselas. <laughs> no, si, All right. Si hace frío, pero si hace frío. <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> All right, so in this case, for number seven is take off your coat. Take off. Quíteselo, ¿verdad? Y si oh. se fija, number three and number seven, you can use take off, but the meaning is different because of the context. Yeah. Usted no va a despegar el abrigo, se va a quitar el abrigo. Mm -hmm. All right, entonces es el mismo phrasal verb con diferente significado porque el contexto es diferente. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> All right, very good. Number eight, Jose. Can you try that one, Jose? For clear. No. No, I don't know. You don't know that one? All right, I think Eduardo I, you have it, right? Uh -huh, I don't know the meaning of the burglar. Ah, burglar I, I... is, do you understand thief? <laughs> Do you understand thief, Jose? Sorry? Do you understand thief? Thief. thief. Uh -huh. Thief uh, is a ladron. Ladron, ladron. Yeah. And burglar mm -hmm. is also a ladron. It's also, ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay, very good. So the burglar, what is the phrasal verb that we can use? Um, it's a... Uh, um, shut, shut up. Broke into. Broke into. Broke into the um, flat. Flat is an apartment, Jose. Flat is apartment. Uh, Ajá. Ah, okay. Entonces, en el buen salvadoreño, el ladrón se metió a la casa, al apartamento. Okay. Broke into. All right. Usted cuando entra a su casa, no, you don't break into because you have a key. All right, you get good. into your house. All right, very good. Number number nine, Claudia, what do you think? I don't understand the context of the... The sentence? Okay, okay. We're going to do it together. My parents had an argument. Uh-huh. Okay. My parents had an argument last night, but they... I think no that they... they I think that they book the, 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 the rules. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay, when you have a fight with someone and then you say, please forgive me, so let's be friends again, you make up. It's number one, made up. Es como cuando decimos que hicieron las pases. Ah, okay. All right, so made up. Made up today. Yeah. Uh-huh. So yesterday they had a fight, but today they made up. All right, now they are okay. They are friends again. They love each other again. 
Okay. All right, very good. Number um, 11. 10. 10. Yeah, number 10. Uh, 10. 10. Mm -hmm. Anybody? Letting. Yes. Letting in New letting York. Letting or get in? Uh, no. Get in. Get, get in. in. Get in, right? Get in. Uh -huh. We get into New York at 6 o'clock to avoid the traffic. Get in, yeah. All right. Get in. What about 11? My mother opened the door and let in the old car. car. Very good. Yes. Okay. En unas nosotros entramos, en otras dejaron entrar. All right? Very good. El broquinto ya lo vimos. Sí, el broquinto ya. Era el number 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 eight. Hey, you okay? All right, and the last one, please be quiet. Shut up. Shut, Shut up. up. <laughs> yeah, and as Claudia said, it's not very polite, okay? Shut up is very, very rude. Yeah? All right, very good. Yeah. Okay, guys, do you have any questions? No. No. No, no it's, uh, it's, for, it's too difficult to memorize. Yeah, phrasal verbs are very <laughs> difficult because they, they, the meaning is different, Claudia, okay? And it depends yes. on the particle, the meaning changes. So you have to memorize a lot of phrasal verbs, okay? Mm -hmm. Only memorize. Yes, only memorize, yes. All right, ¿les quedan estos ahora? Si no se podían algunos, que pueden decir, hey, yo puedo decir, broke into. Cuando alguien se mete a la fuerza en un lado, all right? Or, me peleé con alguien, pero ya hice las paces. I made up with someone. Okay? Yeah. Muy It's bien. Eh, okay. Como les decía al principio, la clase de ahora nada más era como repaso de los phrasal verbs, darles un, unos nuevos, en, en este caso fueron este ejercicio, ¿verdad? Y aquí la idea es que se siga obviamente estudiando y hay muchos phrasal verbs, but it's very interesting. Ok, yeah, mañana you. regresa la teacher Iris con ustedes, ¿verdad? Ya con lo que va a seguir ella con lo de la plataforma. Ok, okay, okay. okay. okay thank, thank you. Thank you very much. I will bye. see you later. See you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, all right. Bye. Nice to meet bye. you. Bye. Nice to meet Thanks. you.